Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? This is part two of the Tinley Park Animal Show. If you watched yesterday's video, then you know that I'm going around fulfilling requests that you guys sent out of what animals you wanted to see at the Tinley Park Reptile Show. So we're keeping on with that. Big shout out to my buddy Riley who's been taking care of my snake Junior and if you missed the update on Junior you go back and watch yesterday's video. There will not be a live stream tonight since we are giving you a, an unusual Tuesday video. Here it is. Welcome to Tinley Park. That's my man Robson right there. He doesn't. Oh, I was gonna hope to catch him without knowing I was filming him. Oh well. Now he knows he's on the video. It's all right. No, no more surprise, Robson. You know you're on it. Okay. It's, uh, Stephanie. Stephanie Fernandez. You wanted to see a unique morph. I think that Mr. Keith here is gonna have us uh, have us taken care of on the uniqueness of. Yeah, that looks pretty unique to me. So, Paradox technically isn't a morph. Right. But this is about as unique as you can get because you can't reproduce it. It does it when it feels like it. So unique, it's not even morph. You can't even reproduce it. It's head, head albino, and then yeah, it's, it's just it, popping through. Yeah, pretty much is what it is. Um, as far as the white flecking go and the calico head, um, I mean that's borderline being a calico. But right. I, I'm still calling it a paradox. Patrick Laughlin, we got a toke gecko for you. It's coming right up. True to classic toke fashion, he wants to eat something. How'd that feel? Not too bad. They got sharp little teeth. Look, you can catch it now that he bit his teeth are out of their sheaths. Oh yeah, there they go. Nice shoes, buddy. Those are nice shoes. I don't get it. Check out my man's dinosaur shirt. He wore it just for Noah and Eli. Yeah. Apparently. Dimetrodon. You show it off. You show it off. You hold it up. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That's a cool shirt, bud. What's your name, man? You want to say hi to Eli and Noah? Hi, Noah. <laughs> say hi, Eli. Hi. That's not a corn snake. I thought you were getting a corn snake. No. No, change your mind? <laughs> what you got there, sis? Pastel vanilla fire. Pastel vanilla fire? Ooh, pretty. You got a name for it yet? You take care of it. No name yet? It comes with it. Is it a boy or a girl? Girl. Is it a girl? Maybe you guys can uh, help come up with a name for this girl for Alana. You want to throw some uh, comments down in the suggestions? You know what I meant. Suggestions down in the comments? Well, you're going to get a lot of people helping you fit, think of names for your snake in the comments, hopefully. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, dude. This is Bubba. If you've been to Tinley before, you've seen him. He's a staple here out front. And uh, I know you want to see a really big lizard. Technically, an alligator is not a lizard, but he is very big. He is a reptile with four legs and a tail. So I think you guys might want to check him out. He's a nice guy, and he's, he's just somebody that you always want to see. If you come to Tinley, you want to see Bubba. 
Mark Lovato, you want to see some dart frogs? Got you covered, man. Matt James, and there was actually a lot of you guys who wanted to see a lot of boas on this video, so I got the man Joe Consolini right here. This is actually who I got my very first boa constrictor from, and he's got lots of beautiful boas here, so I hope this is going to do it for you guys. Holy snake, there you go. That was your moon glow. $800 is the price, my man. Lori Johnson wanted to see some monitors. There's lots of monitors over here. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in there and film some of them for you. Oh. <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> Yo, I just noticed you're looking and, lean and, and that, mean. And that right there is why I love this guy, man. You, you, you saw him come around the corner. That's the guy. Down by a snake. You got pooped on his leg? A retic. Re I was holding this retic and he like pooped all over my leg and my purse. You do have to have a chicken stuff like that. Yeah. All right, so Elias Gilat, Galati, Gilat, Galati. I know you wanted to see some colubrids. I want to show you this colubrid right here. This is an Everglades rat snake. This is actually one of the very first snakes I ever had as a kid. So, pretty cool. Alright Doom Raptor, that was one cool bearded dragon for you. He's two years old. Two years? Alright crazy turtle, you want to see some tortoises? We got a tortoise for you right here. Matthew Wajtowitz, I hope I said that right. I know you want to see salamanders. I have not seen any salamanders here, but I did just happen across some newts, so I hope this will do for you.
All right, buddy James, you want to see a blood python? I think this is a blood python of blood pythons to show you a blood python. I think you're going to get me, huh? <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> He's trying to get on camera real hard. Yeah. Get in there harder. <laughs> I'm in there, hum it. Oh, that came out. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Alright Kenny again, I know you wanted to see Carpet Row. This is basically where Carpet Row usually is behind me, but there's like no carpet python people back there. At least maybe I've got it wrong, but I walked all over the place. I didn't see any row of carpet breathers, so at least I did find you some carpet pythons. So check them out. Well, there it is guys. Believe it or not, I do have more Tinley footage to go up with. I did a little run around with uh, Catalia and also uh, a couple of buddies over at Boulder Reptiles ended up interviewing Jimmy. So I think we're going to put that up too. Of course, there's a bunch of Triple B TV episode interviews that are going to be going way down the line. You can look for those going forward on Triple B TV, my other channel. This, that, find that logo right there. You found the right channel. And I wanted to give a quick thank you to everybody that came up, all the awesome people, all the friends I get to hang out with at the show, Brian and Bob for putting the show on in the first place, and yeah, good times, great oldies. Yeah.